Hello, in this video I will show you how to unlock your iPhone 4 running iOS 5. Uh, to prove that I am running iOS 5, uh, let me go to Settings, General, click About. And as you can see right there, 5.0, uh, this is the first beta. And let me cover my information up as I scroll down to my baseband. It is modern firmware 04.11.04, as you could see. Okay, let me put that down. Back out of that. Back out of that. So what you're gonna do, need to do is take a SIM removal pin, or you could get a standard paper clip, and go to the side of your iPhone 4 and remove your uh, SIM tray. Here's my AT&T micro sim which I don't need anymore. And here's the Jevy sim which what is we're going to be using. You could uh, check the link in the description for where I got mine. Uh, so hold your power button until you see the power to slide off. You can insert your Jevy sim and slide to power off and after it powers off simply turn it right back on and just a side note this is a tethered unlock meaning once you turn off your device or your device dies of battery you're gonna have to repeat this process all over again uh... that's no problem to me as it only takes a minute or two to do the complete process but uh... shortly in a couple days or so I will uh, show you an untethered way, meaning you could turn your device on and off and you don't have to do the whole process, it does it for you automatically. Uh, also just a side note, I am running a simple mobile which runs off T-Mobile carriers. So once your iPhone reboots, just wait for this message to appear. If this message doesn't appear, you could simply take the tray out and don't even remove it all the way, you just press it until it pops out a little and then push it back in and just wait for this message. Click accept, slide to unlock. Uh, you don't need to open up settings. You could open up your phone application, go to dialer, I mean uh, you could go to keypad and make sure you have one signal bar before you type in anything after you click accept, accept you're gonna have a no service and just wait until you have one signal bar and here's a controversial part about this unlock is you're gonna have to type in 112 which is emergency services however you are not establishing a connection you're canceling the call right when you press call after two short seconds which doesn't connect anything you're not ringing 112 or anything like that so simply type touch call wait one two end the call ending call go to settings very fast and turn airplane mode on until a message appears that's saying no sim card installed click OK and turn airplane mode back off and you'll get two messages sim failure click OK and it should say invalid sim and all you have to do now is just wait for your signal bars to appear. So you'll see some things happening. I still have one signal bar searching. Now it says T Mobile and I have uh, almost full signal. Now I have another video on, uh, I'm just going to click OK right for now. I have another video showing you how to use Simple Mobile with this, if uh, for with all the curio settings, which adds tethering. Uh, tethering and other things like that. So what you're going to need to do uh, general network and turn data roaming on and you have an edge connection on uh, simple mobile or T-Mobile in the United States. Uh, 
And once again, I'll link you in the description or an annotation that's popping up now for all the APNs and uh, proxies for to set up MMS, cellular data, and even internet tethering to do personal hotspot. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more. And once again, I'll show you an untethered way to do this very shortly.